Hey GTI fans, welcome back to another episode of Empyrean Galactic Survival. This is your host Zelot, and we're here today doing the Alpha 8 Experimental Release Candidate 1. Uh, so we're carrying on, you can see I have built myself a little pad here, kind of stretches out over the water at this point, but it's big enough right now, I should be able to spawn in my HV, which is ready to go, so let's do that. I've got a bunch of biofuel cooked up here, and oh yeah, my steak just finished, so perfect. We can eat one of those right now. <clears throat> okay, so I got a bunch of biofuel. We are going to need to take the rest of this on the road with us, I think. We're going to grab this and this. We'll just grab all that stuff. We'll grab that too. We'll take that and that. And that we don't need the rest of that. We can take that. Heck, we'll take that. <laughs> Just grab everything, right? Uh, I won't have a fridge that's gonna perish before that won't, and I can cook that up right away. So let's do that. We'll just uh, turn that into an energy bar. Got 13 minutes there, and that'll last a long time. Okay. Okay. So let's do this. Let's spawn this in. This is my HV box top starter that I have built with Alpha 8 in mind now. So I've tested it a couple times and it seems to work really well. Let's get this let's get this in. So put that down. Actually here, let me can I move it over right beside my no? Come on. Yeah, I can probably reach it from there, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go down a little bit. No. How about right there? Is it going to clip anything? No, perfect. <laughs> okay. Um, nice. So, uh, a weird, kind of a weirdness about the mobile air con, and it's because of how they do blocks in this game. So, something might not look like it, but it occupies that entire block. It may be that you can walk through it because the, the, the collision box is, um, you know, only yay big, but the actual space it occupies, it owns. So nothing else can be placed there, technically, and including the heat. Because <laughs> right now, so this was on the ground, I plunked a block over it. At, technically because it's it's covering it a little bit see how it's clipping into it and that stopped it from working so but it's still working if I if I physically get up over top of the other block right on top of it you can see there my temperature went up to 25 so that was interesting to note some a little quirk about that if you uh if you put blocks down after you put down your heater. Um, yeah, it doesn't really work as well as you might hope. <laughs> uh, I guess unless maybe, you know, if I was able to put another one on top of it, but I'm not going to test that right now. I'm, I'm not too worried about it. We've got our, S, our HV spawned in here. Let's, well, let's do stuff. This one actually has a constructor on it. So we can bump up to the next step of constructor. So we went from survival constructor to portable constructor. Now we're moving up to a mobile constructor on an HV. And we'll just put all our stuff in here. So let's um, go like this. Let's get all that in there. Put that in there too. I can eat that. Please don't poison me. Thank you. Okay. Um, so we can technically jump in. Let's just jump in. So there's two ways of doing this. We don't have a jetpack, but this is easily navig. Whoa, 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 whoa. I can super jump without my jetpack, right? Without it. So I can get into here, no problem. And I can just climb into it from there. Or, you know, from the outside, I can get into it. So, 
I can do a panic run back to it and like oh no and don't have to screw around jumping into the cockpit I was also kind of planning maybe putting another cockpit inside here which would be easier and I'm gonna try it out so we're gonna try that out uh, not necessarily this episode, but further down the road, I'm going to try putting a second cockpit inside. Okay, anyway, let's get into our devices here. We're going to get into our fuel, and we're going to add, well, we're going to add all of this right now. We're just going to add all of it. We're going to go over to here. We're going to turn our thrusters off. Uh, actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to make... Um, I'm going to group everything. Let's group everything. And that way we can go back here. We can make a custom group. I'm going to call it engines. And we're going to put all the engine type groups into it. So we got the hover engines. We've got RCS. And the thruster groups. Now the reason I do this is is it um, sometimes if you bump your mouse and you're in the cockpit and you have your <laughs> you have I don't know you can you can move your ship around somewhere and it's like oh I didn't want to oh I had it lined up ah oh. I don't know I've just ran into lots of times where I just don't want to move the mouse around or the the RCSs around and uh, and besides it can it cuts down on consumption does it not let's take a look. Let's take a look. What do they consume? Energy in, yeah, five kilowatts. So absolutely. Um, what about the RCS? One kilowatt, yep. Yeah. And of course the thrusters do. I mean, we know that. So yeah, 12 kilowatts for the small ones. So shutting those off help too, especially when you're on biofuel. Right, so, but there's stuff that you might want to keep running. I don't know. Let's say it's like freezing out really bad, and you want to have your ship running, or you got a fridge on there eventually, right? Like a fridge is usually the reason. But um, okay, so we're gonna turn the engines off, and then we'll just power this up. So now we have power at the constructor and 58 kilowatt hours the current output is 1.8 megawatts so we're well with <laughs> below the uh, output range of the generator so not a big deal there plus it doesn't seem to matter in this game right now that i mean it says it turns red i i'm not 100 percent convinced that you do lose fuel while you're flying in the red like if your consumption is worse or not um, I don't know I, I guess we could test that theory but I'm not going to bother right now um, anyway let's just go into the constructor and get some stuff done and you'll notice that there isn't much unlocked well we haven't unlocked a lot of stuff we're still on the the uh, we haven't even taken any of our points I don't think did we we took the the aircon that's it that's all we've taken so far really right so so let's go in and take some stuff so we right off the bat I think we might want to do an ore scanner multi-tool that's eight points and then small ammo box that's 12 points We'll take the Gatling gun, that'll be 17 points. The Another seven points for the cargo box harvest module. So 24, so we can do all these. these this, we can do all this, so let's start doing that. So let's, let's take that and that. Very necessary to start off with. So, and we'll do the guns, get the ammo box. Because it can make its own guns and ammunition now. Um, that's great because 
vehicles vehicles constructors can now outfit their own vehicle which is what it should have been it was kind of funky before <laughs> didn't make a lot of sense before but whatever there they're fixing that so we also are going to want to open up the fridge for for next level um what else are we going to need? We're going to need points, a lot of points down the road at fifth level, though, to open up a bunch of stuff. We're going to need, 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 we have to take the armor locker. Let's just get this up to that. And we're going to need to take the generator for sure so that we can take a fridge. Uh, nine points left. I mean, I should take, take six of it and get some more thrust going on yeah I mean I could take a weapon the assault rifle maybe multi-tool or scanner that's eight points that makes more sense right now I think need the ore scanner to find the Prometheum and the multi-tool needs the Prometheum, so I don't know, there's some sort of correlation there. <laughs> it just jumped out at me. Anyway, there we go. We've taken, I think, what we need right off the bat, so let's go into our constructor. So now with all of our stuff, we still have, we have a good amount, and we can still make another 120 ingots, so, so really good really good uh, amount of ingots left to play with here um, seven minutes let's eat one of those right away that sucks so I can't make a fridge but what we can make is let's get the harvest box going we're gonna get a cargo box going um, we're gonna do the harvest module We'll get two of the Gatling guns going. Uh, that right away. Oh, we're going to do... Did we? Yeah, we don't have an ore scanner, right? No. Okay, so we're going to do the ore scanner. Okay, and... What else should I take? What else should I take? I've already... Yeah, I can make the personal detector, so let's make that. Why I didn't make that already? Wait, unless I did, did I do it in the other one? Let's let's check. Let's check. Did I do it in the portable constructor? Because I think they're capable of it, right? No. Or is it under tools? Yeah, it's under tools. There we go. Yeah. Okay, so I didn't make it though, so that's fine. Um, okay, there's nothing to see there. Nothing to see there. Let's just pick this up. I have a feeling I might need it. And should I leave that here? You know what? Should I take that with me? Let's, let's take that, grab the sprouts. We'll just. Oh, really? Are you gonna, like, kill my sprouts on me? Really? No. Really? Oh, come on. Ah, uh, that's a bad bug. Oh, well. I lost all my sprouts and the... Yeah, that doesn't work all the time. So, make sure you take your stuff out of the constructors before you pick them up. Uh, not a big deal. Yeah, whatever. Okay, that's okay. I got uh, I got the survival. Const I got the actual gear. I don't care. Um, how's this doing here? So we've got this, this, and this. We can put that on. One of the Gatling guns is almost done. Got that nice. And then we're gonna need to make a whole bunch of bullets. So let's go for the 15 mil. 
how many of those can we make? It's four nitrocellulose, that's not much because the, the nitrocellulose does not take that much. Where is it here? One plant fiber, 20 per log, so you get 20. So you get 400. Per log, 400 per log. Okay, that's uh, that's good to know. 400 nitrocellulose per log. Uh, that's a lot. So, and it took four nitrocellulose. So that means we can make a hundred templates of that off one log, which would be. Ten thousand. So one log makes ten thousand fifteen mil bullets. Okay. Huh. That's quite amazing. Let's uh well, let's make. We should make uh, forty percent of a log. Yeah. Now I got that stuck in my head. It's a percentage of, <laughs> of a log. Okay. Uh, let's get this and this, and well, we can grab some of that. That's fine. And we'll jump out here. Jump up, grab our stuff here. We're going to put the boxes on. Here, let's just move this over to here for now. I'm not placing that down as of yet. We'll just get this all in my bar here. Okay. Now, let's get the cargo box. We can just put that on somewhere here. Let's flip that that and actually I'll spin that like that there we go and then we can put in the middle there yeah that's fine um, let's jump over to the front here and put this stuff on so we've got our harvest module there or AKA meat grinder, rock harvester. It, it's it's actually super handy. If you've never seen anyone use one for for initial grinding, then then you're about to. <laughs> okay, um, I'm just gonna stick these right here. I kind of like them just right there. That's fine. They don't need to be sticking way out past. Gives, gives something, gives a little bit of coverage to the, uh, <laughs> they're going to shoot at that instead of the cockpit maybe, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, don't judge me. Well, there we go, we got our basics, we've got functional guns and functional harvest module on. We don't have a fridge yet. But that should be rectified pretty darn quick here. Uh, we don't have lights either, so we're going to have to take take advantage of this light right now. So let's go into here. We're going to turn on our engines. Okay. And we're going to actually fuel this up. We've got 200 bullets. We've got more than that right now. Done, don't we? Yeah. Okay. And we've got that done, so now we can detect. And oh, we were going to make a detector. We're going to make a detector, right? Detector. Eventually, I'll take a detector and make one for the HV. It's just this will be better than nothing for now. We need this detector. Okay. Get these uh, items here, and we're going to load this up. Let's do the fill all. Okay. 
So good enough for now. Let's um, let's power up the. We got the engines turned on. Okay, so let's let's go. And we're gonna need to actually get this thing making biofuel. So once it's done doing that, we've got 20. We're gonna get a bunch more wood here, so we're gonna make um, 10, 20, at least 20 right now. Get that started. Get those bullets. Okay. So we'll just get off the ground here and get to a decent hover height okay so this thing does not have a bunch of power going sideways or, or backwards but but forwards it's not too bad because it has two thrusters so it can still climb decent enough um, okay so we need to get a bunch of wood realistically and why did all the trees disappear? I didn't kill all the trees around here, did I? Did I kill all of them? Did I literally kill all of the trees around here? Okay, so, well, there's this guy here. So, oh, man, my RCS just suck. And what I can do is I can go like this, get this right down, and let's zoom in a bit here, because that's getting a little ridiculous and we'll unzoom and yeah now I can let's see let's is he gonna get lippy with me he is of course he is so let's let's just oh yeah him. now the reason I like uh, doing the guns on those is because they can actually one shot you through the uh, through the through your cargo or not cargo through your cockpit they can one shot you through your cockpit it's it's unbelievable when you have no armor on you you just take full damage so okay uh, oh Oh, we got respawn of his buddy right there. That's fine. Let's let's just gather this. I should be able to just jump out. Pop my drone. Grab this. And yes, 14. That's going to help. Uh, perish time. Let's just eat one really quick. At least we're at full health. And we just got a supply of meat again. So we're, we're doing okay. And we need the XP, so we're going to kill him here, too. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Sounds a little risk right here. I think we'll go... We'll go up here. And then... Because I got no... RC, the RCS is, is just one. I actually need to make another one. I just... Have it. And... Die! Oh, no! Crap! <laughs> Ow! He's gonna kill me. Where'd he come from? Get him, get him, get him! There we go! <laughs> he was... Uh, bet you he damaged me. Let's take a look. <laughs> yep, I've taken damage. Let's see. Let's see what he... Did he get anything? No, he must have just got blocks. Okay. Yeah, or else it would show it would show damage. Oh no! Oh, it's not showing. You gotta expand the whole thing now. Really? I didn't know that. Okay, so my cockpit. He went after my cockpit. Wow. Uh, he did not get through the cockpit that time. Thank God. I was thinking I was dead right there. <laughs> <sighs> yeah. Okay. So. Lesson learned, have more RCS before you start tackling these Triceratops. Anyway, I still prevailed. I'm, I'm alive and he's dead. Yeah, that's all that matters right now. I've got lots of meat there, that's good. 
So what do we need for got that? Let's. Oh, actually, I should have left that in the output. Apparently, apparently it does not perish while it's in your output. So you can stack up a whole bunch of stuff. If you make a whole bunch of energy energy bars, and just leave them in your output all the time. Um, apparently, that's probably going to get rectified soon. I'm sure. Uh, okay, so, wow, yeah, so, we need trees, probably, more than anything right now. Oh, there's another dino, let's, let's just kill him. I'm just worried, is, is, like, the, the train floating or something? Did it glitch out? Because I thought all the way... I thought this was like all foresty kind of area right, right around here. I think maybe did my I did cut down a bunch of trees. I mean, I'm not saying I didn't. I did absolutely. Um, I can't remember clearing the freaking forest though. Like really? I don't know. I think it might have bugged out a bit, but I do see other forested areas, so I'm not that concerned. It, it kind of makes it easier to deal with. I can see stuff around around the pad then, so that's cool. Just getting mass amounts of meat. Massive. Okay. Um, how are we doing on the... Oh, right on. We're just shy of fifth. Okay, so let's go kill some more stuff, or... Um... Oh, is the... Yes, it is done. Okay, let's, let's get that out. And we've got that. Okay, so we need to level really quick. And we'll just put this in the... There we go. Um... We'll get a bunch of that in there just just because. Okay, so we can potentially kill some of this stuff, maybe. No, I'm not gonna be able to shoot them. I'd have to uh, I'd have to kill them with my my grinder. Well, that's possible. We could we could let's give it a try. So I'll switch to the grinder. Come on grinder and then we're gonna get down quite a bit lower and there we go about half a half a meter off the ground and we're gonna start trying to where it, where'd it go? Where'd you go? Did it stop? No. Nope. <laughs> it's the, the they wave all over the place. Oh, I killed something. Oh, and now something's pissed at me. Is, isn't it? Something pissed at me? No. Oh, he's running around, though. I swear to God, it sounded like he popped my cockpit. Well, I don't see any spiders around. It seems, He seems to have lost interest, so... Let's do this. Okay. Oh, come on. You're killing me. I don't want to take on one of the crickets. They'll probably kill me. Um, those things were a pain. They're like running all over the place. Do the crickets chase you? I think they're really hard to hit. You gotta like really get down low, right? Right. Let's let's try a little bit lower. Can I? I can't move. I'm that low. Darn. Okay. So. Let's do this. Can we? No, because I can't see. <laughs> They're too low. It's kind of weird. It's okay. Let's, oops, not that. Let's try this. 
the case, I got the guns. And what I can do is, oh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. I'll raise right up to the top. Did it actually get me there? It might have. It's attacking something. Let's, uh, let's, what I can do is I can page down see how my crosshairs drop. Now I can aim at stuff on the ground underneath me and try and shoot them. Oops. Oh, come on, Z-Lot. Where the heck? No. This thing just does not have the RCS. Yeah, I can't. I can't get it to move face down. I don't think. Let's see if I can. Where are you, spiders? Oh, oh, oh! Yay, level five! <laughs> oh, okay. Um, can we get out without dying? Let's see. Bunch of triceratops around. Come on, come on. Are you not gonna? Oh, come on. It's got tiniest little hitbox. Okay. Um. So, we rose a level. Let's do the tech here. Let's get the fridge going right away here. We'll get some lights. We're going to need those. Uh, the armor locker and the armor. And we got seven points. We can do assault rifle maybe. I mean minigun is awesome and all and RCS. Let's do R I, I need I need RCS bad. And we can take another thruster. Sure. Let's do that. Okay. So let's get this going. And we've got some biofuel here. Let's get a fridge built. Uh, we're gonna get a bunch more RCS built like three of those I want like another four thrusters I think then we'll do more biofuel so we'll do another ten at least ten twenty we'll get some more uh... so that's done good let's jump off mount that really quickly here. Actually, we'll just mount it right inside. We'll, we'll mount it in here. Right there. That's fine. Okay. So let's go into that. And we can put this stuff in there before it spoils. Good. Nice. Well, our steak spoiled, but we have lots of meat now and a fridge. So we're doing fine. We're doing just fine. Let's get not that. Let's get that down there. We now have that. Actually, yeah, that's fine. I'm going to use that up anyway. We do have a cargo box. Let's just stow this in there. Okay, and oh, right. Let's change our... Vision 
camera angle to be more upward facing. Okay. So let's see where we're at with the RCS. There's three of those. Good. Okay. That's what we need right now. So we're going to put these on. Um, there, and there, oh heck, we'll just do all three on that side for now, that's fine, that's fine, okay, let's see how, oh, there we go, there we go, <laughs> yay, I can steer, okay, now I can kill stuff. Yeah. Yay! Amazing what RCSs do. <laughs> it's not even close to the same vehicle anymore. It's a little twitchy side to side because of it, but whatever. collecting keep on collecting so I think what I'm gonna do is whoops what, what am I doing I can pull this stuff out no derp a derp put it all back um, what we can do is we can cook up five of it though I think or is that that's too busy it's too busy and I'm not that hungry right now so we can put this back that's fine. Um, what we could do is try and find Prometheum right now, I think is probably our best bet. So, mountains and the, the radiated biomes, from my experience, is where you're going to find that stuff. Let's, let's just head straight north or south. Let's reveal more around the base here. So let's swing around. We'll come down. We'll head south. Come back up. We'll head. We'll, you know what? We'll, we'll head south all the way down to the pole. And then we'll come back up, circling back up. And we'll do a pole to pole on this... Uh, narrow strip okay so yeah south let's let's do it now I'm pretty sure I've looted all these wreckage so I'm not gonna bother yeah I think I think it glitched out there should have been there should have been a bunch of forest right here I should be killing all that stuff on the way here too, but I'm a little concerned that that my I know I'm heading west and I said I was going to head south, but I'm a little concerned that that there's something gravely wrong with my okay, these aren't disappearing, that's good let's see if they react properly Wow, so this thing is completely glitched. Okay. So my entire video is useless, I guess. <laughs> uh, really? Let's try this. <laughs>
Huh. Well, I really hope this fixes it. <laughs> and yay, it's fixed. Why didn't I just do that immediately? So, because, you know what? I wanted to have the easy ride. Yeah, so now there we go. There we go. <laughs> All right. Did, did you restart your computer? Did you, did, you, did you try that first before calling me? No? Okay, so, so restart your computer. Okay, oh, that fixed it. Okay, there you go. That's $100, please, thank you. Um, yeah. Okay, so we're, we're, we're in good shape now. <laughs> we can do this. We've got stuff, and we can pick stuff. We've got... Okay. So, yeah. Okay, there we go. My force is back. Should have done a soft log. What I mean by soft log is I don't actually shut down the game. I just log off that that save uh, and then log back in to it. I mean, sure, the file, I guess, technically isn't used, but um, I don't know. That, okay, it looked like two. Never mind. Just two identical rocks, that's all. Oh, what was that? We've got crickets. Well, <sighs> my scanner hasn't kicked off at all. Nothing. Oop, 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 oop. My hover height. Ooh, I gotta put a bunch of fuel in too. So let's do that pretty quick here. Just get get away from the spiders. <laughs> Freaking spiders. And I gotta make some uh, make some more fuel and some lights now that it's getting dark. Yep, it's gonna get dark here. So let's do that. Whoa, hit the side of that mountain hard, and I can't get up it now. What is going on? There we go. Huh, that was kind of weird. It was like it was physically stopping me from moving. I just want to get to the top of the mountain here just really quick and have a look. We're going to... We're going to... Uh, we're going to drift too much and not be able to stay on the top, are we? Okay. So I'm not going to get out. I just want to have a quick look. That looks cool. A little swampy, tiny little islet. Well, not really swamp. Well, I guess it's, it's wet. It's a lot of water. Um... revealed anything other than what we've already revealed. I guess we keep going south. Let's make sure what we're building is done. And we've got more of that queued up, so let's do our fuel. Go into here. You know what? Let's just dump it all in there for now. We just because we just got a whole bunch of more logs, which reminds me go in and grab them. And we have them so that they're ready to be queued up. And we'll get more of that going because we're going to need it. Now, I don't want to do this at the top of a mountain, so we'll end up going down there to put those thrusters on, but let's keep going. Oh, um, yeah, it's getting Oops. Crap. Stop. Yeah, it's not going to stop now. <laughs> I don't have enough thrust. <laughs> Come on. 
That's okay. We'll fix that. We will fix that. And this is probably a good spot to fix that at. There's crickets. They're okay. Crickets are okay. Even though turrets hate them for some reason, but... Well, that's a bunch of them. Okay, as long as there's no spiders. No? Okay. So let's... Oh. Um... You know what? Let's let's DQ all of that and make some lights. We'll get the armor locker made, and we'll get our armor made. Which are weapons? So we've got a bunch of fuel in there now, so we're okay. Uh, what else are we gonna need? What else are we going to need? We, we don't even have a gun yet, do we? Not even a pistol? Not even a pistol. We can make a pistol. Should we Should we make a pistol? <laughs> uh, I don't even think I'll bother at this point. If I, if I can't kill it with my HV, then I'm not going to bother trying. Nice. Nice. We're going to have armor here pretty quick. That'll help quite a bit running around. We'll have a jetpack. We'll be able to go underwater so we can swim around and pick seaweed. And, and apparently there's potential for um, sunken, crashed CVs. So that could be pretty cool. You have to swim down and dive for them. Dig them out underwater, I guess. That's interesting. I don't mind that so much. It's like it's like doing stuff on the moon where nothing kind of bugs you. But you're gonna have a vehicle exposed up top on floating on the water, I guess. Right? So I guess you're gonna need to have like a HV with you the only thing that makes sense. Something that can self-protect itself against drones. Come on. Almost. Okay, come on. That one's slow, eh? That one's set take. Fifty-eight point eight. Well. Okay. So we've got our armor, we've got an armor locker. Let's put this stuff on. It's dark, but that's okay. We'll drone this up. We'll get this stuff on. See, they're gonna ignore me. They don't they don't care about me. It's spiders that don't like me. And I don't like spiders, so that's kind of a mutual thing. Now I could put all the thrusters on this side. Um Aiming up, yeah, it is. Where is it? Yeah. But it's aiming up, so the back is that way. Um, yeah, that's fine. Let's do one there. We'll do. We'll do. One that way. And. That way. Need another one forward. So what can we? I guess we could do it facing forward that way. Okay. Oh wait, no. I. Why did I do that? I should have put it down here. Oh, I'm such an idiot. Well, well I gotta find Promethium then. So that's fine. We'll um, get this on. Am I like dying or anything right now? No. Just checking. So we can do this. And we'll go like this. And like this. There we go. There we go. Now we can see 
can see what we're doing. We got some RCS. This thing's starting to get equipped now. Yep. We're gonna have to seal this in. Uh, we'll have to hit another level due to that because I ran out of points. That wasn't that wasn't like a, a absolute must-have yet. So now that we're in here, I think we can just go into the. Oh wait, I didn't put that on yet. Derp a derp. Why didn't I put that on? That goes on the inside. We'll just put this uh, up against this wall here. That's fine. Okay. So now I can go into here and put this armor on. Woohoo! Alright. Well, we got armor out of the deal so far. And what else do we got here? We've got a fridge full of meat. That's a good deal. Let's keep going. Keep going south. Okay, and I will grab you if I find something. Okay, I just got radar contact, so we'll check that out. So, south, we're getting, we must be getting close to the border. Yeah, we're getting there. We're getting into a mountainous area. Oh, that, actually, that makes me kind of excited. If it's in the mountains, it's a good chance that it could be Promethean. Oh, uh, maybe not. Maybe it's... Oh, no, it is. Yes! Oh, it's a tiny little one, though. Ah. Uh... Oh, and we got radar contact again south okay be something else and probably copper silicone or something that's okay well we got a little bit of promethium that means that we could potentially make multi charges drill charges stuff that you need the pellets for right so that's good as long as we don't have any spiders around we should be able to get this I don't see any I don't see any spiders. So what I'm going to do though, is I'm still going to climb up here and go out of line of sight. That way, well, I don't know, spider, everything's attracted to the HV anyway, meh, I don't know, whatever. At least I'm not going to fall out of this thing if they knock it around. At least it, it, I shouldn't. I shouldn't. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I am going to grab my drill. And can I see the... Yes, I can see the... So the one chunk... Let's turn the light off. There we go. There we go. Well, we'll try and get this one chunk and we'll finish off the episode. Uh, feeling actually kind of um, good about it. We didn't actually die when we missed the, the Triceratops, which I thought I was going to. I thought I was dead right there. But he actually didn't get through my, my cockpit and auto hit me. So, I guess I got lucky there. Um, yeah. Well, I don't think I need to torture you guys with watching me dig with the drone. So, I'm going to call this an episode here. I'm going to finish digging this out. And I'm going to go exploring a bit and try and uh, reveal a bunch of stuff so that we can 
so that we can go around next time and uh, do some stuff. Maybe maybe I'll have enough um, levels and, and materials to get a SV going, or or maybe the Camel Shack because now I'm fifth level. I should get the Camel Shack in, right? We get a large constructor going, food processor. That sounds like a good idea. So I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to go around. We're going to get some more mats, level up a bit. Um, yeah. And I will see you guys next episode. So until then, you guys have yourselves an awesome, awesome day.